Hi guys, Christian here from Architect CIA. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to properly light up an interior scene using Enscape for Archicad. Let's dive in. Now, in a software like SketchUp, Enscape has its own dedicated lighting tool, but for some reason, Enscape for Archicad doesn't have that. So, if you want to design an interior scene in Archicad, you are pretty much stuck with Archicad's own built-in lamp tool, which <laughs> can be a very unfriendly tool, especially for you know new users. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I use the Archicad lamp tool to light up this interior scene. All right, so this is the scene I'll be working with. The bed you see here was gotten from SketchUp's 3D warehouse, and all the other objects in this scene are from the Enscape asset library. So I'm going to start Enscape. Now, if you don't see the Enscape toolbar, you can go to the Enscape icon at the top of the screen and just scroll down and look for the Enscape toolbar, click on it, and you'll find the Enscape toolbar will pop up. So I'll just start Enscape. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure Safe Frame is turned on so that I can see my proper image resolution. Now, if you can't see the Enscape window over your Archie card like this, all you have to do is to go to Settings and under Preferences, just make sure this box here is checked. Next, I'll go to Visual Settings. I'll go to Outputs. And under Resolution, I'm going to make sure Full HD is selected. Now, you can also use Custom and decide what your image resolution is going to be like. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at Full HD. Next, I'm just going to adjust my camera and position it in a way I'm comfortable with. I'll go back to the visual settings and I'll just make sure the field of view is somewhere around 50%. Alright, that's cool. Alright, I'm very okay with this. Next, I'll go to view management and I'm just going to create a view. So I'll click create view and I'm just going to name this, say I'll name it something like scene 1. I'll click create. Now, the good thing about creating a scene is that no matter where I go to in my scene, I can always go back to my view management and I'll click on the scene I just created and my camera will be positioned back in the proper place. Alright, with my camera set, I'm going to start working on lighting of the scene. I'll start with the natural lighting, which is light coming from the sun or the external environment so that we can have light pouring from outside into the space. Then I'll work on the artificial lighting, which is light coming from the lamps and other interior light fittings. Alright, I'm going to go to visual settings and I'll go to atmosphere. And I'm just going to turn the sun brightness all the way down to zero. Now, when I'm working in Archicad, I almost never use the Archicad sun. Instead, I use a HDRI. Now, an HDRI is basically a special photo taken from a real place, capturing everything around in 360 degrees. That is the sky buildings, trees, and all the lights. When we use it in 3D, it pretty much helps our, our scene to look a lot more realistic with all the lightings and all the reflections, giving us a very realistic feel. So I'll go to sky, and under source, I'm going to change it from white background to skybox. Then I'll load skybox from file. This is where I'm going to load the HDRI into my scene. I'm just going to look for HDRI I am comfortable with, and let it load. So if I take the camera outside, this is what the HDRI looks like. Now, I can try to increase the brightness of my HDRI, but what I prefer to do is I'm going to use one of the lights in my lamp tool and just place it outside the window. That way I'll be able to control how much I want the intensity of my environment lights to be. Let me show you how I do it. Alright, so I'll go to ground floor and I'll open the lamp tool. And I'm just going to look for the general lights. This is the one I intend to use. Um, I can leave all the settings the way they are. Maybe I'll just increase the shadow casting and all the other settings. I just leave them the way they are. No need to change much here. I'm going to click OK and I'll just place it somewhere outside the window and I'll reduce the size. I'm going to right click and I'll select in 3D so that I can see it in the 3D view. I'll just raise it up a little bit. 
All right, I'm going to go back to Enscape. And I'll just scroll through the light settings to intensity and I'll just increase it to the highest, which is 200. All right, I'll leave it like this for now. Next, I'm just going to make more copies of these lights so that they just cover the entire area of my window. By the way, if you are finding this tutorial helpful so far, please just do me a favor and pause the video and help me like and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed yet. And also, you can turn on the bell notification so that anytime I post a video, you will be notified. Thank you. All right. So I mentioned previously that the highest intensity for the lights in our lamp tool is 200. So I can't raise it higher than 200. So if for whatever reason I want to increase the intensity of my lights, I can't do that using the lamp tool alone. So what I prefer to do is I'm going to go to visual settings and under atmosphere, I'm going to increase the intensity of my artificial light brightness. I normally take it to somewhere around 150. That way, I can now start reducing the intensity of the light in my lamp too. With that, I have more control on how bright or how dim I want my light to be. Hope that makes sense. All right, moving on, I'll go to main and I'll turn off auto exposure so that I can have manual control on how I want my exposure settings to be. All right, I'll go back to 3D and I'll select the lights. Now I can reduce the intensity of the lights to somewhere around 50. I'll go back to my exposure settings. I just start increasing the exposure of my image. Now you see, I have more control over how bright I want my image to be and how much light I want to enter the image. Now, let me show you one more trick I like to use. If you look at an image of light passing through a white curtain, you can almost see the curtain having this kind of glowing effect. All right. So what I'm going to try to do is to replicate that glowing effect in the curtain I have in this scene. Let me show you how I do it. I'll open the Enscape Material Editor and I'll search for the cotton material. I created the material for the cotton. I'll just search for cotton fabric here. That's it. All right, next I'll change the type from generic to self illuminated and I'll reduce the luminance to a level I'm comfortable with. So, what I just do is to reduce the luminance to one big sense and then I'm going to go back to my exposure settings and adjust the exposure and also adjust the intensity of my artificial sun, the one I created and placed outside the window. All right, now we can see that the curtain has a certain glow to it, really making it look like light is passing through it. I think I like it like this. But I still need light in the interior, just for these areas that are looking a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do, I'll just minimize this. I'm going to go back to ground floor and I'm going to add some lights inside the space. So I'll go back to my lamp tool and this time I'll select parallel lights. I'll just adjust that best quality and I'll click OK. And I'll place the lights just somewhere close to the curtain, pointing into the space. All right, click and select in 3D. I'll go back to Enscape and it's a little bit too bright. So what I'll do is to reduce the intensity. I'll make a few adjustments to the positioning. And at this point, all I'm just trying to do is to throw more lights into the space. So I'll make a few more copies of these particular lights and just position them at different areas of the space just to light it up a little bit more. All right, I think I'm done with the environment lights. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I won't want it to be too long, so I won't want to keep making adjustments, but so far, I think I have a pretty 
good amount of light coming into the space. Alright, with that, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is to work on the artificial lighting. So, I'll start lighting up the pendant lights and these ceiling lights. So, I'll start by going back to the Enscape Material Editor. And I'm going to look for the material I created for my pendant lights. And I'll go back to Generic and on that type, I'll also make it self-illuminated, just to make the bulb blue and I'll reduce the luminance to a level I'm comfortable with. Next, I'll go back to ground floor and instead of creating a new light, I'm just going to select one of these general lights and I'll make a copy of it and just take it to where the pendant light is. I'll reduce the size to make sure it just stays inside the pendant lights. I'll right click, select in 3D and I'll just adjust the height to make sure that the light stays inside the globe. Alright, so if I go back to Enscape, you can see that the intensity is too bright. So what I can do is to go back and reduce the intensity. I'm going to take it all the way down. Alright. Another thing I can do is to also change the color of the lights. We can also change the color of the light in our lamp too. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, I'm going to give it this really soft brownish glow. I'll go back to ground floor and I'll make a copy of this light and I'll move it to the other pendant lights. Alright, I'll go back to Enscape and let's see what it looks like. Alright, I like this. I, I really like this. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll just go back to ground floor and I'm going to make a copy of these lights and just move them to where the ceiling light is so I can light up the ceiling lights. Alright, with the lights placed, I'll go back to Enscape. Let me see what it looks like. All right, I think this looks good. I can always adjust it a little bit to take it up. All right, I'm good with this. So I'm, I'm going to go back to the floor plan and I'll just make a copy of these lights and move it to the other side. Okay, go back to 3D, open Enscape again. All right, so our two ceiling lights now have a glow to them. Now, I can always go in and make a few adjustments to the intensity and the color of my lights, but what I've shown you guys is pretty much the basics of lighting up a scene in Enscape for Archicad. Now, in my next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I worked on the materials in this scene. But for now, it's a wrap guys. I hope you found the tips and the techniques helpful. If you have any questions or you need further clarification, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't also forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and Turn on the bell notification so that anytime I post a video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.